Hello everyone, what's going on? What's up? It's Preacher Man Sports. Welcome back to another video. And I'm doing my week five NFL picks. I'm doing it early because my team plays on Thursday night on Gay Prime video. And I'm going to make my preview tomorrow as well. And um, so I want to go ahead and get my picks out the way. Even though the final injury report isn't like out yet, but I can take a pretty good guess. Last week I was like eight and eight. But oh well, because so many upsets. This this is crazy. So without um, further ado, let's um, go ahead and get started, shall we? Um, um, first game we got the Indianapolis Colts going against my Denver Broncos. It's in Denver. It's a Thursday night game. We're coming off a short. We both teams are coming off losses. Colts coming off a bad loss to the Titans, and we're coming off a loss to the Raiders. But and I saw the injury report that Darius Leonard, yes, I'm calling him Darius Leonard, Shaquille Leonard, don't sound right to me. And um, they won't have Jonathan Taylor, who's their best offensive player. So keep that in mind. And he hasn't practiced two days straight. And if he misses tomorrow, then he's going to be no choice but to be downgraded to out. But regardless, I'm picking Denver. It's in Denver. Um... And I say we win by a score of, let's say, 24 to 17. That's what I think. I think we'll win by a score of 24 to 17. You know, I think we'll get – we will score more points. Um, we lost Javante Williams, sadly, for the rest of the season and part of next season due to an AC and LCL. So that, and we signed Latavius Murray to help out with Melvin Gordon. Hopefully Melvin Gordon bounces back from that, what he just did, because I'm done giving him. I already done giving him chances. I want him gone. But we can't release him now because, you know, or else our running back room is completely torn apart. So, like I said, I want him gone, but I'm going to have to root for him for the rest of you. So, hopefully him and Latavius Murray does good. A pass in attack does like it did last week. Did pretty solid. And, you know, move drives, and then we're set. Next up, we got... The, let me see, um, oh, shit, um, we got the Dolphins versus the New York Jets, so I got the Dolphins in this case, I say the Dolphins win by a score of 28 to 17, because I don't think Bridge, Bridgewater is not a good quarterback, but he can easily beat the Jets. Like, he beat him last year with Denver. He shut him out, you know, 26-0. Should have been 33-0, but, man, it was stat padding. But, yeah, I don't think the Jets are a good team. I don't care if they beat the, um, you know, Steelers. They suck. But, yeah. Next up, we got the Steelers versus the Bills. Steelers are going with Kenny Pickett, but regardless, whoever the quarterback is, give him the Bills. I think the Bills are going to blow out the Steelers by a score of 30. Oh, not 24. 34 to 20. Um, next up, we got the Houston Texans versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, even though the Texans own the Jags for some weird reason, give me the Jags. This is a different Jags team. I say the Jags win by a score of, let's say, 31 to 21. Texans, Texans defense is mid, but, you know, the Jags, they, Trevor Lawrence had a bad game, but he should bounce back. Next up, we got the Los Angeles Chargers versus the Cleveland Browns. Um, regardless, give me the Chargers. I don't think the Browns has it. They got Jacoby Brissett at quarterback. He's not even that good. And he's and the Browns have had disappointing losses, losing to the Falcons and the um, fucking Jets. So give me the Chargers, let's say, by a score of, 28 to no the Chargers 20 there. Um next up we got the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Baltimore Ravens. This is actually my upset right here. I say that the Bengals will win this game, and here's why. The Ravens, they haven't won at home. It's weird. And Lamar, he didn't look that sharp against the Bills. He didn't. So, 
And the Ravens defense is very suspect. They haven't been playing good these past these like their secondaries have been extremely overrated. I say the Bengals win this game by a score of 28 to 24. Now the, ba- the if if the Bengals lose, oh well. Because I wouldn't be surprised if the Ravens win. They're favored. Next up, we got the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Kansas City Chiefs. It's on the Monday night, and it's um in KC. But give me the Chiefs. Mahomes went crazy in Tampa. I say the Chiefs win by a final score of, let's say, 31 to 17, knowing how they play the Raiders. Um, next up, we got the Lions versus the New England Patriots. New England Patriots, they have no quarterback. So, shut up, phone. Um, next up, we got the, um, yeah, Detroit Lions versus the Patriots. But... This is tough because the Patriots have no quarterback in the Lions. You know what? Give me the Lions. I say it's a back and forth game. Let's say the score, high scoring game, I score 31 to like 28. Next up, we got the Tennessee Titans versus the Washington Commanders. I don't trust the Commanders. I don't think they're good. Give me the Titans by a final score of 28 to. Actually, no, 24 to 10. I don't think Carson Wentz is a good quarterback. Next up, we got the Green Bay Packers versus the New York Giants. I flipped it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's a, it, this is a London game, I heard. But regardless, give me the Packers, even though they, they didn't look that sharp against uh, Mac Jones' Patriots. But give me the Packers. By a score of, let's say, 27 to 17. There. Next up, we got the Chicago Bears versus the Minnesota Vikings. Um, I think the Vikings should win this because, for one, hold on. For one, Minnesota, it's in Minnesota, and I don't think the Bears, they're not as good as people say they are. But let's say the Vikings win by a score of 28 to 14. Next up, we got the Seattle Seahawks versus the New Orleans Saints. I think this is time for the Saints to bounce back. This is Seattle we're talking about, Geno Smith. I think New Orleans will win this. It's in New Orleans, too. But I, I say it'll be a close game by a score of... Let's say 27 to 24. Next up, we got the Atlanta Falcons versus the um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Buccaneers have been, if they've been iffy, their offense did good, but their defense screwed them over last game. But Tampa should win. They should kill the Falcons. I say they win by a score of 31 to Let's say 14. I don't think, and the Falcons don't have Cordero Patterson. Keep that in mind. So they won't have a running t- attack. Next up, we got the San Francisco 49 versus the Carolina Panthers. Even though it's in Carolina, give me the Niners. The Niners just beat the Rams because they, for some reason, own the Rams, but not in the playoffs. But the Niners, they should win this game by a score of, let's say, um, shit. I'm trying to think of a score. Let's say they win by a score of 20. I say it'll be like a maybe a mid scoring game, knowing how the Niners play. I say the score will be 21 to um, 14. Low scoring game. Um, next up, we got the um, Dallas Cowboys versus the Los Angeles Rams. Um,. The Cowboys have been looking pretty sharp. Their offense, their defense, but even though it's in L.A., but I'm sorry, but I got to go with the Rams. I wouldn't be surprised if Dallas win, though, because the way they've been playing, like Cooper Rush is going to start again because Dak still hurt his, he, his hand. He still can't grip the ball, and, you know, that's not good news. And it's Cooper Cup versus Diggs. This is gonna, that's going to be a rape. Um, so I say the Rams win, even though they haven't been looking that sharp. I still say they win this by a score of, let's say, 
by defense, since it's defenses, I say they win by a score of 24-2. Knowing the Rams, 21 there. The Cowboys have been surprisingly solid without Prescott because their weapons, they're getting healthier, and their defense has been helping them out in big ways. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Cowboys win, though. Next up, we got the Philadelphia Eagles versus Arizona Cardinals. Even though it's in Arizona, give me Eagles. The Cardinals aren't a good team. And the Eagles have been looking really good, even though they haven't been playing anyone. They still look like a really good team. I say they win by a score of 31 to, let's say, 20. So, yeah, those are my picks, guys. I know that I'm doing it early because I'm doing my preview tomorrow, and I don't feel like making two videos. So those are my picks. So... Make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe, guys. Tell me your picks. Let me know in the comments. And um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Hopefully this team can get a win, you know, bounce back. And then we'll be all right. We'll be all right. But see you guys later. Peace out. Go Broncos.